morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the vlog. We are in lovely Muskoka, Ontario, Canada. As you can see by this beautiful weather, it is uh, just after one, and uh, Carol and I slept in till like almost 11. It was a really good sleep. We went to bed kind of early last night. Last night we watched The Hitman's Bodyguard. I'm not sure if you've seen that, but if you haven't, it's definitely on the top of the list. It's got uh, Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson. Very, very good movie. Those two guys hit it off really well in that in that flick. Uh, so we went to bed kind of early, slept in very late, uh, got up, had bacon and eggs, sat together at the table. Again, nobody's here this weekend. Uh, my mom and my sister flew out to uh, uh, Vancouver for a few days, so we had the cottage all to ourselves, which is fantastic. Uh, Carol got a couple steaks for tonight, so hopefully I'll show you that later on. Uh, but right now, what I want to do is, uh, when we were putting the dock in last week, we noticed that the the pipes that we use to hold the dock up at the very bottom, they were galvanized steel. If somebody ever tells you galvanized steel doesn't rust, call them a liar because it does rust. Uh, they have been in the water, in and out of the water for the last 20 years and uh, galvanized steel rusts and it got really thin at the end. I actually just like kind of bonked it on the, on the uh, uh, dock and it actually broke. So we bought uh, eight new legs and eight new feet for the bottom of them. And so I'm gonna replace each one of those uh, on the dock. And uh, what I'm also gonna bring is our little fuzzy. So we'll go do an experiment with this down the dock. I'm bringing this too so I can do some underwater footage again. See if the bass is gonna attack once again. There she is. Gotta get a better holder for that. So just making sure I have everything that I need. Got my bathing suit on. I'm uploading yesterday's vlog uh, with my phone. All right, down at the dock, I got the uh, the windscreen on the mic. I just got to pay attention to where I'm pointing the camera because now I've got two things in my hand. So the wind is blowing pretty good, as you can see, and hopefully it's not affecting the sound of this video. So, like I said, you can see the rust on the pipes. If, if they're not, maybe like this, this part hasn't been submerged in water at all. Uh, whereas that side gets submerged in the water for five months of the year. So it's just like soaking galvanized steel in water, it makes it rust. But again, outside of the water, it's doing pretty good. It's still maintained its te integrity but the other side is, is really bad. I'll show it to you when I take it apart. People are having fun on their jet skis. Somebody's videotaping their buddy. Looks like it. Doing a vlog, maybe? They're everywhere, these vloggers. It's disgusting. All right, let's get to work.
Well, that was a fun little uh, swim. I, I went all the way around that rock, past here, and just out in front of that dock there is where I found the sunglasses. The jar was over here somewhere. I don't know how a jar gets in the water. I have no idea. Like, we don't throw anything in the water, so how a jar gets there all of a sudden is beyond me. And then most of the fish were in this area, all the little guys, uh, and there were perch, sunfish, and minnows. All of them, the minnows were probably size as, uh, but the sunfish uh, kind of have orange tinge to them. They get much bigger, and a lot of people like to fish for them. People used, we used to, as kids, we would fish, we would catch mostly sunfish, and then we would, uh, my, my granddad would clean them and then boil them and give them to, and make a cat food out of them. So, so they were good for the cat food. Some people eat them. I, I've never eaten catfish, but they're very fishy tasting uh, or smelling when you cook them anyway. But uh, yeah, this is, I already showed you all that stuff. I, I, I did find the part of the rent that fell off at the last, the last second, <laughs> it fell off and I'm like, oh, but luckily I went for a quick little swim. It is snack time at the cottage. What do we have here, honey? <laughs> well, this is non-dairy cream cheese. Non-dairy green, green cheese. Cream cheese. Cream cheese, oh, look at that. You've got regular cheese, some apples, and I'll try some one of those. Crackers. And some beers. Yeah, some beer. And Sam's got his own chair. And we put a pillow on here so he doesn't slide off. I'm not sure if you can see this, but the hair on my arm has got a little bit of a static. <laughs> Check that out, people. Did you see that? That is hilarious. My hair goes whoop and it's stuck <laughs> to the chair. Stop drinking beer, man. Stop drinking beer. Yes, I got what I needed. So I was trying to explain to Carol. I said the, the brand new poles are just put in the dock. The diameter is just a little bit smaller than the old poles. So the bolt that we put in through a Titan the pole in a sleeve doesn't, it, it just reaches the pole. So I had to buy 16 new bolts uh, that are just a quarter inch longer. So now it'll be able to go in, tighten against the pole before it tightens against the end of the nut or bolt is what I'm trying to say. We're in Port Carling, which is the closest town to us. Uh, I think it's around 16 kilometers. And uh, pretty little town, I'll show you around. Let's go. So this is Lake Rosso, and then you go through the locks, which is drops you down three feet to Lake Muskoka. And I always, I never really asked anybody what the what the height difference is between the two lakes, but the lock master just told me three feet, which is very cool. It costs nine bucks if you have a if you're just going through through for one uh, once. I think it's nine bucks. I'm not sure if it's nine dollars just through, then nine dollars back. $18 round trip you see if you just want to go to the store pretty expensive <laughs> But you can have, you can buy yearly passes and stuff. It makes it cheaper if you're going to go through all the time But uh, yeah, this is a beautiful little island Right in the middle between the two lakes And uh, if you're ever in Muskoka This is definitely one of the What's it called? Uh, Attractions. Uh, 
diamond in the rough, as you might say, I guess. It's one of the prettiest spots in of all of Muskoka. So you gotta go to Bracebridge, you gotta go to Port Carling, Gravenhurst, Bala. Every single little town up here is just a must-see. But this is probably in the top three. So there are two locks here. There's one for the large boats, and then there's this one. It's a self-serve. Uh, so you just bring your boat up to here, you tie it off, and then you go in into the pump house, I guess you call it, uh, lock house, and then press the lever. I guess it's all pretty simple. Press the lever, those doors shut, brings the water level up to this le lake level, and, you just, and then the, the door would open, you'd bring your boat in, go back in, press the button, do the exact opposite, let the water out, and then psh, you're on your way. So it benefit you <laughs> right at this moment to come this way because you just come in and then press a button. It raises you, opens that one, and you continue on your way. And it is $9 each way, Carol's right, I think. It says it's closed. Oh, it's closed for the season. So huh. it should be opening soon. Although I just saw a boat, a guy come through. I'm not sure if he came in and saw that you couldn't and then went left. Maybe. Small dock, small lock is unsupervised and self operated. Let's check this out. But it says pers authorized personnel only. It's pretty simple, I would imagine. This locks off. There's probably all the power shut off just to stop people from using it. That's kind of cool. Power to the people. I'll finish the dock, put the new bolts on, put the little white caps on the pulls. Everything looks perfect. Beautiful. Sunsets always happen behind us, unfortunately, but uh, we get the sunrises and I uh, might I just might get up tomorrow morning and show you what a sunrise looks like here uh, in Muskoka, but we get a nice little It's kind of fun watching as the sun sets you see the shallow going across the lake and then up those trees And it's kind of nice to watch right now. I'm cooking steaks Carol bought I said we're gonna do something kind of special and she doesn't like seafood. So it's not like we can do lobsters or any other kind of seafood. So I just posted it. I think they're called premium strip loin steaks. And uh, so, and we have got that cooking up. Just kind of started. So it's gonna sit there for a little bit. Then we'll get some nice plates out. We're gonna have some potatoes and, and some greens on the side. And that will be our day here uh, in Muskoka by the lake and uh, we'll probably watch a movie, relax, put on a nice hoodie from Muskoka Bearwear and watch our movie and then go to bed and that'll be our night. Let me know in the comments below what you did on June, I think it's 2nd. Yes, it's June 2nd. Thanks guys for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow.